Hey, Mike. How's it going, man? Good. How are you? Good. Thanks for uh, jumping on the call today. Um, yeah, no problem. I always like I always like to start with uh, kind of our our origin story and like how we met. Um, and so I'm thinking it's been probably five or six years. Is that right? Yeah, I want to say at least five. I mean, has to be has to be at least five, given that uh, I can't really remember. So that takes me <laughs> back at least five. <laughs> um, good. I'd say yes. Yeah, I'd say it's been at least five. Yeah, and uh, so you started training with uh, a colleague of mine, Amy's, and then it just so happened that you had a few buddies that uh, were training with me and kind of made uh, the, the swap that we switched switched it up on you and you came and trained with some of uh, your fellow colleagues and uh, friends of yours, is that right? Yeah, Amy was at the time coming to the house here and then I came into, I guess, what was it? commune at that time yeah, called exactly yeah. came in there a few times and um saw my friends guys i had worked with done business with and saw them training with you and then i worked out with amy a few times in that location and she just kind of had stuff going on in her life and i think she made a switch so she just said i think it's a good opportunity to go work with sean and i was like okay cool so that was kind of how it all unfolded nice yeah um, so this one is, is, uh, is, you know, start with a little self-serving question. Uh, how's it been working with me so far? Oh, I mean, we're still going, so it's been good, right? <laughs> um, I, I think, uh, it's been really good for me. I mean, I've battled a number of injuries with regard to just figuring out my own body as I've gotten older and what's been going on, um, mainly to do with what I put in my body. So like, you know, it all manifolded itself kind of into what was happening with injuries. So it's been a, a great process to get strong and feel good. And then unfortunately there's been lots of recovery time in that, but there's also been, you know, lots of positive gains and I think it's been excellent. Awesome, man. Well, thanks for that. I appreciate it. Uh, what inspired yeah. you to, uh, to look into coaching in the first place? Um, I like to be coached. I mean, I'm one of those guys that I think with regard to physical activity and just training, I've always, I've always kind of wanted to keep my competitive spirit going a bit as I've gotten older and raising kids and stuff. Like for me, my time is morally more spent just, watching them now and watching them compete and be active and um, do their sports. And it's really fun, but I also have this desire to keep training and keep working. And I think I did a few, uh, I did a few Ironmans or ha I did a half Ironman and Olympic try a number of years ago, 10 years ago. And um, I hadn't done anything in a long time, like training wise. So I wanted to get a coach and just push myself again and, I just, I just like to work out with someone that knows the techniques and knows the, the ways to improve, you know, and, and I, I find I work harder in that environment than I do on my own, just in my own gym. So I like it. Awesome, man. Yeah. I mean, we share a lot in common in terms of just like our, you know, past experiences being an ex-athlete and, you know, being in a team setting and having coaches uh, and now we, you know, we talk a lot about being dads and like how that's changed our perspective yeah. on sports and preparation. So, man, I, I appreciate uh, your insight on there because I, I feel like uh, we we get to go pretty deep in all the calls that we have or the you know chances we get to see each other in person. Um, so yeah. it, it's kind of nice to see where it all stemmed from. And I kind of uh, knew that story, but I think it's nice to share that you started with like you were active your whole life and then you know, you found uh, some new purpose and training something different, but you still look for a little bit of support just to make sure you're going in the right direction. And I would do the same, man. Like anytime that I, I want to try something new, I'll, I'll definitely like reach out to someone and uh, see where they can support me and uh, challenge me to make progress. So, um, yeah, it, we, it's important. I think. Yeah, man. I think it you know, cuts the learning curve for sure. And it also, I, uh, you know, it makes you feel uh, safe, I guess is, is one thing. And also just like, 
I don't know. I don't want as parents, you, as young kids, you know, we have very limited time. I don't want to be spinning my wheels or wasting my time. It's like yeah. might as well ma maximize on everything, right? I um, agree. I mean, it's it's an investment in like my future, right? So totally, totally. Um, what were you doing for fitness before we started working together? Well, that period of kind of figuring out, you know, I. When I first did those races, I had one kid working on the second, then the third one came and it just, it just like a period of time or many years, you know, three or four years of just running and not, you know, just, just not catching up to like time at all and figured it would be important for my own, you know, mental health too, to get an hour for myself, just getting back in the gym and training and you know it just was one of those things where um i found like what i was doing wasn't wasn't really like it wasn't pushing myself hard enough but i knew that i needed to be somewhere where you know there's a decent energy too you know like a good you know there's like a good vibe or a good feel and so that's what kind of led me towards just branching back into what what you do and and doing that but like i knew that there was that piece was missing for me it just was spin classes weren't cutting it so <laughs> <laughs> man I've, I've been to two spin classes and and uh let me tell you it's it's a whole different beast for sure lots of um good looking women and uh, lots of uh loud music but uh i don't know it's not something i could do every day for sure uh, yeah, I like, liked it. I missed weight. I missed the weight training too, right? Like I didn't have the home setup I have now. I didn't have it then. And and even now I like to just get out and be pushed and, and do the one-on-one -on -one because, you know, you just don't, you just don't get that same, you know, boost or energy, right? Like I feel like when you're getting coached or trained, you have, there's an extra energy to it. So that's what I like. Yeah, it's funny you say that. I'm just reading this book called uh, The Power of Others, and it's it's all about that. It's like, you know, seeing your family at the finish line waving you on, and you don't think you can do one more step, and how it, like, kind of raises that inside energy to, like, bring you to that to that next level to finish it up for, for a bigger purpose, right? Um, yeah, absolutely. So, so you allude to you have a, a home gym, and so we kind of have this little hybrid situation where you come in sometimes, you train on your own sometimes, uh, tell me a little bit about the, the True Coach uh, platform. So for those that don't know, it's the software that I use to write your programs in and then we communicate uh, back and forth. But uh, tell me from your end how it is uh, as an experience. I mean, I really like it from like, I can kind of pop on the bike and open it up in the uh, in the app or whatever and, and see my workout and see what's kind of there. And, you know, I'm familiar with, I guess most of the stuff that I'm doing, right? Like I don't have a lot of questions, but when I do, I like that there's a demo right there below every exercise for the, you know, for the most part, it's always there. Um, so I found it pretty, a pretty sweet little tool to use when I'm at home. And again, like my biggest issue is, is pushing myself at home. But I mean, if you're just looking for something to keep you going and keep you uh, moving in between, um, when you do get a one-on-one -on -one session, like for me, I find it, it's kind of nice just, just to have the flex of, especially as we come out of this like world we're in now, totally. I'm assuming everyone gets crazy busy again. And, mm -hmm. you know, I, it's hard to say what's the right thing. Is it, it's gotta be a balance of what this is and what we were before, right? It, it, you'd have to struggle to find that, that balance, but having the option to do it at home and use the tool, use the app, you know, put your feedback in and, and get feedback from the coach on what you're doing. You can ask questions via the messaging. So I, I think it's pretty good, a, a pretty good system and it's been handy for me for sure. Awesome. Yeah. I, uh, I've been getting that from a lot of people. It's kind of slick. It's just easy to use. It's intuitive. Uh, and like you said, it's, you know, it's not one-on-one -on -one in person, but it, you still have a lot of the tools there uh, for a good user experience. So I'm glad that you're feeling the same. Um, yeah, I use I almost even if I know the exercise, I watch the demo just because it's good reminder. You, know, you right? just kind of do a fresher up, right? Check your check your form out. Totally, man. Um, here's the second self serving question: What is your favorite thing about working with me? 
I think like I like to I mean this sounds kind of funny but I like to chat right with you like we have lots in common you know I know like I like the way it is now in the sense that you don't have as many um clients as you probably had a few years ago or whatever and and you're not as you know you're 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 pretty dialed into what each client is is doing and what you're looking at and what their goals are and so I mean I I think that your each workout has that ability to take me to the next piece where I want to go as far as my heart rate or you know it just seems to always be a little bit harder and a little bit more dialed in and I really like that and I think that's you know obviously a great element that you bring to it awesome man appreciate that uh how would you describe to someone else what I do um I mean I would say it's pretty like when I've talked about it obviously I've sent you guys I've sent guys your way so clearly I trust the process and what you bring to the table but I mean I've described that to them as like you know it's funny because I, I talk with my buddies there during the week and we don't see each other but we talk on the phone and I'm always like god I'm getting destroyed at the gym and I love it right like I love that feeling and so I mean when I describe it it's you can you can get it tailored to whatever you want to do right like if you want to have like if you want to just focus on weight loss or you want to focus on gaining muscle, you want to focus on, you know, diet or whatever you're, you can do all that. Like you have all that knowledge base and you can help people along the way. They don't really need to do all these different things that people kind of get caught up spending money on. They can go and in an hour session, I can chat with you about nutrition. I can chat with you about, you know, how to burn more fat. I can chat with you about getting bigger and stronger. Or I can chat with you about stretching, whatever, like you have that knowledge base and you, competed as an athlete and you've been doing this a long time so I mean I think if guys are serious about their fitness then I'm pretty comfortable sending them your way I mean I think even if people aren't serious and they're just learning or want to get into it I think it's a great place to go to so I mean you have it all covered and I think that's the main message I tell people when I'm talking about I mean you know a few years ago when I was diagnosed with celiac my whole body changed again right like everything kind of changed and everything was different and you know it's a it's a different thing to go through but you know like I could talk to you about how I'm changing and how my body's feeling and you know you kind of we can we can have those discussions so I think it's you know it's not only the gym part and the working out part but there's someone there to to talk to about stuff so I think it's I think it's that that's an important piece that people like and I would use that as I would use that as why I like it. And so I think that's the message I would tell people. Excellent. Um, this is a good segue into the next one here. So uh, why did you choose me over anyone else? Well, I mean, I don't, I guess, cause I'm 44 now, I don't really have time to waste on this stuff. And I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to go somewhere where someone doesn't get me and get who I'm, what I'm, my goals are and get who, you know, you know, obviously, as you get older, you feel your body changing and stuff and, and you work out hard and, you know, and I think it's important to, to for me anyways, to feel like I'm somewhere where, where I'm comfortable and so with someone that I'm comfortable and then getting, getting injured and getting in the, a situation where, you know, you're starting over again is just not where I want to go. And so, you know, there's obviously options for training and stuff, but I prefer, I, I, I really like the, the setup you have at your facility. And I really like the, the level of, of just comfort I have in training there. So, I mean, it's just an easy decision for me as far as my own personal comfort level and, and your knowledge is, is I, I feel like from the guys that I, I haven't trained with a ton of people, but I, I know enough about the industry and, and what I want to accomplish that I could say your knowledge has to be right up there second to none in the city as far as guys that are doing what you're doing. And so I think that it's, it's a really good spot for me. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. I mean, I, I, uh, I try to hold a, you know, a safe space for everyone to like come in and, and uh, get the, the, you know, reach their goals. And that means a lot when you say those things, cause it, that resonates with me. I, I mean, um, I learn a lot every time you come in. So every time you come in, like I learn 
more about, you know, life in general, just like, you know, a broad spectrum of things. So I'm glad that there's, you know, some comfort there. And that's why you chose to like continue to train with me all these years. And um, so we got one last question uh, to kind of wrap it up here. Uh, What would you say to someone who's on the fence about working with me? I mean, I think, you know, if that, if someone's on the fence or they want to, like, I think it's getting pushed or getting someone to build you programs and getting someone to show you different, you know, techniques to improve your life. It's sometimes if you're not really ready for, you know, mentally committing and change, then it's, it's sometimes maybe a bit hard, but I would just say like, like you've said to me lots is, you know, it, when you make change and you, you establish goals and and things you want to achieve, you have to remember that it's not like an overnight thing, right? Like this thing that you're doing, especially with your body, like if you make changes with diet and you make changes with um, fitness, they take time and they take discipline. And I think I would say that, you know, that's a great example that your gym, I think sets like you, you're, you're disciplined in your approach to your own training. And, you know, I would just, have that person if they were on the fence review their goals and and decide what's important to them because i think you know if they want to achieve change and want to achieve um a a positive you know goal for themselves it takes a lot of that inner drive but having someone like you in their corner to kind of push and check in or you know see how they're doing and and you know you're obviously a human and you know nothing's you know you're not perfect in your own sense. And so, you know, staying with your own program and seeing how, you know, successful you've been at just keeping yourself going and training. And, you know, I don't know many people that can do 90 minutes on an air dine, you know, like <laughs> it just shows your, your level of um, discipline mentally towards your craft. And I think that's something that from what I noticed, you're always, you do the workouts I do. Sometimes you do them a lot better and a lot more efficient. And I think, it's important for people to uh, just from myself, like, I think I would say like to these people, you know, like stick it out, give it a shot and, and um, be disciplined and, and Sean will help you get there. Right. Thanks man. Yeah. I mean that, you know, I always, that's something like even from the days in sports, I was like, always like, you got to walk the walk, you know, you got to do the things you got to do. Right. And uh, so like, I, I just love the exploration of fitness. And like, so I love exploring how, like, if I do a workout, it might feel like different than the, how you do the same workout, even if we decide to do the same thing. And so, you know, it stemmed from that. That's why individualized coaching was like the only thing that made sense to me was, you know, actually started by coaching uh, my own football team. So in university guys would come and ask me for programs. And so I'd write programs and, you know, I would see like, some similarities, but lots of differences. And then I would tweak one and tweak the next. And, and, and that's really how it all kind of evolved. And to hear you say all those things, it, it just, it makes me feel like, makes me feel good, man. Like I really do appreciate yep. um, you taking the time to answer all these things. And, you know, it really does help me even um, coach you uh, better or differently because <laughs> now I have a perspective yeah. of how, how you view things. So Mike, man, I, I can't uh, thank you enough for uh, coming on the call today. Um, and I'm looking forward to our, our next in-person session and we'll, uh, we'll dial, you, dial you in for that one too, man. I'll be ready. Yeah, I'll be ready. I'll be, uh, I'm jumping on the air down here this afternoon and then doing my, uh, my work to stay nimble as they say, go. and, uh, Good. I'll be, uh, I'll be ready for Monday. Awesome, man. Well, have a great end of the week and uh, I'll see you soon. Yeah, buddy. Have a great weekend. You too, man.